our country Philippines is well known for having a lot of belief and until now we still believe Comparing the view of Rizal and Morga of pre-colonial Filipino culture Jose Rizal lamented that he was born and bred without knowing our colonial past. As a result, he felt that he had neither voice nor authority to talk on what he did not know. You can be sure that most of his contemporaries felt the same way. As expected, Morga was critical of the system of the government, which he said barely existed because there were no powerful figures that ruled over married communities, most of them coastal, each with its own sets of leaders. Rizal argued that it was better that way, while should be the communities be beholden to one ruler who didn't even live among them and wasn't familiar with their needs and problems. Morga said that cotton was grown extensively in practically all the islands which the natives sold as thread and woven fabrics to Chinese and foreign merchants. Morga was fascinated with the social organization of the natives. He described origins, differences, privileges of social classes, upward and downward mobility, inheritance of possessions and titles. Rizal emphasized that native women, unlike their European counterparts, never lose their noble titles in marriage. It was groom who gave the bride's parent a dowry because they losing a precious daughter. Rizal clarified, Morga must have meant Senemai, which was woven from abaca thread that comes from the trunk, not the leaves. According to Morga, if there was a property left by the parents in the absence of Asawa and legitimate children, they were inherited by the nearest relative. However, Rizal said that the memory of the parents is so sacred and revered. Also, they believe that the spirits of ancestors came to live among their descendants.